welcome to my easy statistics in this video we will be discussing about structure equation model identification this is structure equation model using ammo software part 3 in structure equation modeling using ammo software part 2 we discussed about calculating covariance between independent variables calculation of squared multiple correlation and their significances and in this video session we will be discussing about structure equation model identification when we draw a structure equation model like this what we used in previous videos we need to decide or understand whether model is identified or unidentified if a model is unidentified we cannot calculate any estimation system will not perform any estimations any analysis the model should be always identified so before we go into the system discussion what is identification what is unidentification we will discuss about types of identifications in the models there are three types of model identifications a model can be just identified a model can be unidentified and a model can be over identified in structure equation model a model can be just identified are over identified but it should not be unidentified if a system is unidentified then estimations cannot be calculated the system will not show any output so let us see what is just identified models and what is over identified models and unidentified models to know whether the model is identified or not we need to consider two important things that is number of distinct sample movements of the model and number of distinct parameters to be estimated in the model right this is the example which we are using in the last previous session let me do calculation of estimation and see the output and I want to see what is this models number of distinct parameters and number of estimations to do that i should go for view text in view text in notes for model the information is given here number of distinct sample movements are 14 number of distinct parameters to be estimated is also 14 okay what is mean by number of distinct sample movements and how it is 14 right number of distinct sample movements in this model we are having calculation of three means we calculated four variance are there three covariances three estimates and one intercept so let me show you this in the diagram Okay, we already discussed these values what you are seeing is this 4.03 uh, is a mean so for this three observed variables I have three means right and uh, I have four covariances I have four variances this is 2.92 is one variance two three and for this error unique variable also I have variance but see the mean is maintained as zero this is called fixed the mean of error is maintained as zero we'll discuss why it is maintained as zero and we have three covariances 2.68 2.85 2.08 and three estimations to 0 0.29 0 0.17 0 0.55 and one intercept and one intercept so totally this counts for 14 that's why i'm showing here three means i'm doing samples 
four variances, three covariances, three estimates, and one intercept. So this is number of distinct sample movements. What I am doing, and for this model, number of distinct parameters to be estimated. I am estimating all the parameters in the model. That is, I am estimating three means, four variances, three covariances, one estimate, and one intercept. So I am calculating all the available. So what is the result is the degree of freedom is becoming zero. The degree of freedom is the difference between number of distinct sample movements minus number of distinct parameters to be estimated. It is zero. When degree of freedom is zero, we call this model as just identified. Means further we don't have. This is a saturation model. Where we don't go further for any estimate. I don't have any scope for estimations further. So the difference between number of sample movements and number of distinct parameters to be estimated, if it is equal to zero, we call degree of freedom is zero. See, we cannot do any further calculations. I don't have model fit. I don't have all the values. See, this is a saturation. What I'm going to get values. In further videos, we'll discuss how to overcome this. So the model is called just identified. It is a saturated model. Okay. Now what I do is I will reduce the number of distinct parameters to be estimated. What I mean to say is number of estimations want to reduce. See here, I having three, four variances and covariances. What I do is I uh, I will reduce one covariance instead of calculating three covariances I'll calculate only one covariance. So to do this I just take this erase and I remove one covariance. Now I am calculating how many covariances only two covariances I am calculating. Let me execute it. Okay, proceed. Okay, so I am having only. Two covariance. Let me see the output view text. The model you will be seeing. See covariances. I am calculating only two. Earlier it was three. And see the model. The number of distinct parameters to be estimated is thirteen. So the degree of freedom is becoming one. See now I am able to see the results. Now if the degree of freedom is positive, we call it as over identified. The model should be over identified. Then only we have all estimations and model fit can be calculated. If a model is unidentified, we can't do that. So if in this case, num the degree of freedom is one. So this model is called over identified. Okay, we will discuss the last model that is. Unidentified. How it becomes unidentified if the number of distinct parameters to be estimated is more than sample movements. So here 13, I want to make it 15. How I going to make it is I go for the values. I want to estimate the covariance. If I say yes, covariance, estimate the covariance. The automatically 13 is becoming 14. Now I have fixed here. You can see here. Uh, fixed the mean of error as zero. I'll remove this. Now, how many estimations I am doing? Means I am taking one, two, three, four variables. Means I am having and co variance also four. This variable, this variable, this variables, and this variable four. Eight I got. Three covariances, eleven. Three estimations, fourteen, and uh, intercept of this. This is food preference I'm getting, fifteen. So let me see what is going to happen if I go for execution. See, I'm not getting output. The system has executed, <clears throat> but I'm not getting the output. Let me see what is the reason. I go for the notes. Number of distinct sample movements are 14. Number of distinct parameters to be estimated are 15. But degree of freedom is minus. 
when degree of freedom is minus the model is unidentified when the model is unidentified then we cannot calculate estimations you can see the estimations or values are not available system says is unidentified we don't have model fit nothing is given no estimations is done so a system uh, in a structure equation model should never be unidentified whenever we have unidentified we need to reduce number of distinct parameters to be estimated should be reduced that is a reason what we do is we go here and we keep mean as zero you may ask me why only mean to be kept as zero basing on our requirement we do some modifications we do some modification in order to make the model identified we do some sort of assumptions and we are going to make the model identified just i summarize here when we do structure equation modeling we need to check the model identification model will be having three identification just identified model over identified model and unidentified model like this if the degree of freedom is zero we call just identified if the degree of freedom is negative the model is called unidentified and when the model is unidentified we cannot do any estimations system should be always positive degree of freedom should be positive and this model is called as over identified i wish this uh, information is valuable and useful for you in the next video we will be discussing about model fit of structure equation modeling thank you